Hi everyone. How are you all? I hope everyone is fine. It's me Abdul Hanan, a business teacher. Today I am going to share with you some exam tips related to IGCSE business exam. Uh the code for the exam is 0450. A lot of students are asking nowadays because the exam is going to be taken in uh, the May 2021. So dear students, a uh, few things are very important with reference to the paper. and uh, as all the students have gone through very tough time for the whole year due to covid-19 so i would uh, appreciate if all the students go through this video it will be very helpful for you uh, related to exams because a lot of students they do not pay attention for the whole year but at the end they are very worried about the exams and it will help you uh, in this way that you can if even if you haven't prepared the exam very well but you can perform well in the exam if you go through this video and you follow the tips so first of all <clears throat> i will uh, discuss with you that how many papers are there in the o levels for this code 0450 that is there is two pap papers like paper 1 and paper 2 basically <clears throat> in paper 1 and paper 2 few things are very common and should be memorized properly for example you guys have to understand that these two papers paper 1 and paper 2 in paper 1 there are four questions okay i will show the papers uh, papers as well four paper uh, four questions are there okay in these two papers four question and four question each paper have four questions now every in paper 1 every question have five parts all right a b c d e these are the questions which we used to do in the classes at the end of the chapter exam style questions are there so these are those questions and in the paper 2 we have a case study we call it appendix okay appendix 1 appendix 2 appendix 3 these appendixes will be there okay in the case study all the things will be given a scenario a theme will be given then you guys have to solve the question on the basis of that particular case study okay this is a small information now move to the paper this is paper 1 for october november 2020 this is the latest paper and in this paper as i have told you about the questions these are the questions each question have five parts part a part b part c part d and part e this is the same question as we guys were doing in the class at the end of the chapter exam style questions now the tip for solving the question is here lies the main important tip that tip is that all the students all the students should have to pay attention when they are going to read the question as i will read the question it will be a big tip for you to understand the point what i mean to say for example if you guys are in the paper and you receive the paper you will start reading your question number 1 srb is a bank which provides loans to business customers so we can say loans are involved here we are going to see that credit transactions borrowing loans will be there srb plans to make 100 managers job redundant now this jobs redundant word is showing you that this question has the topic dismissal and redundancy we studied about dismissal and redundancy so it is involved here this would remove one level of hierarchy we have studied the levels of hierarchy so we if we know about hierarchy so here we can easily apply that particular concept this this is the part of its plan to save 1 million dollars in costs over the next 2 years the managing director said SRB is working with the trade union about this plan so this trade union is showing you that they are hiring people from the companies okay they are not hiring the employees directly they are content contacting the trade unions and trade unions are providing them employees so here this topic is also involved SRB will make more useful delegation the bank has to respond to increased competition from online banks SRB could either advertise more or develop new products and services so here product development 
and new product new product developments and services can also be involved product life cycle product development this concept can also be involved so in the whole question these are five six lines so in these lines a lot of things are involved the students those who have good concepts they have the concept of the whole book can easily solve these questions it's very easy but those questions those students like who didn't pay attention for the whole year but still they are going to appear in the exam and they are going to start their studies from now onwards they have to keep their keep the concept in their mind so that whenever the question is there you have to read the question in a way that you should understand what the examiner is asking about the questions all right this is the tip to read the question and to solve secondly you guys have five parts remember each part is same each part mean all the questions four questions have same strategy question number one will be for two marks two marks four marks then six marks and six marks all right all the questions are same in the same way you have to read the question and then you have to answer accordingly firstly you have to keep the concept in your mind what you are getting from the paragraph understand now this was all about paper one if we talk about paper two paper two is basically based on four questions again and these four questions are divided into further uh, like each question is divided into two parts question number question one a and question one b all right the a part for every question the a part is for eight marks and for the b part it's 12 marks right so whenever you are going to solve paper two the questions of paper two you have to go through this insert this insert case study will be given with uh, given to you in the exam now here lies the point this will be quite lengthy okay it's not as short as the paper one it is a lengthy case study now the point is if you guys are like students they they are in hurry when they receive the paper they are in hurry that we need to solve the paper as soon as possible there is no need to get hurry okay you guys have to read the the question the case study once minimum once twice all right if possible you can read it for the third time also i know it's time consuming but the thing is if you understand the theme of the question you can easily solve the question rather to read it once go to the question then find the uh, find where is the answer it is far much better that read the case study carefully and then go to the questions right if you will read the case study you will find again the a lot of topics involved in this then appendix one information about the advertisement about the news all right and about the financial position of that particular uh, business or the organization or the new options of that particular organizations will be given in this case study then you guys have to move to the questions questions will be given in the same way question number one as i told you for the eight marks question number b part is for 12 marks all right so all the, again the same questions will be there the pattern of the question in the both papers will be same all right so this is all about these are the general tips if you guys understand the concept what i mean to say really it will work for you if you go through the questions case study and the, the paragraph questions in paper one thoroughly and according to as I, I i have read it okay read the paper and the question in the same way link the topics as you are reading the question link the topics with that it will really work for you and it will be very helpful for you all right thank you very much if you guys have any question okay you guys can contact me you can uh, comment you can uh, like email me you can whatsapp me uh, i will be there for you and uh, most importantly if you like the video and uh, if it's helpful for you helpful for you kindly subscribe my channel press the bell icon and like subscribe and share my videos thank you very much have a good day take care bye